If I say bum one more time in this video, I'm actually going to say. just sat down in my room and sat in front of the camera and filmed a video so I thought I'd do a nice simple one to come back to this area this area thought I'd do a nice simple video for me to come back to sitting straight in front of the camera and um, so I have a haul for you and um, now everything I've bought is over the space of October and um, a few things I purchased while I was on holiday and others it's been since I've come back so I will start with what I bought on holiday. I'll start with my favourite thing out of everything that I have bought, which is naughty me a bag. Um, it's got loads of stuff in it because I've actually been using it since I've come back. But it is from Pull and Bear, and I got this when I was in Tenerife. And believe it or not, it was twenty euros. Now. I'm not very good at converting, but I'm guessing that's about £16, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I'm literally in love with this bag. It's orange, which you all know is my favourite colour, um, and it's just perfect for every day. I use it to go, um, to go while I go to work, and you've got a long handle here, which can come off, and then you've got the two little hand I just hit myself in the face. You've got the two little handles here, which I really like the fact that they fall like flat down to the side because that's one thing that really annoys me about my Ted Baker bag, which was in my um, What's in My Bag video, which I will link below if you haven't seen, um, is because the handles they don't stay up, they're like rigid upright. But it just bugs me. So the fact that these like fall down is perfect. And then at the front, you've got a little pocket here, which you pop in, and it's just I've got, got some pen leaf in there at the moment. And then you've got the main pocket here. Now there's no, not really any compartments in there. I mean, you've got a zip at the back, but the rest of it is just one big pocket. But for going to and from work, to throw your purse and your phone and your keys in, it's just fine. So you don't really have to rummage around. And also, the size of this bag means I'm not throwing rubbish in that I don't need in my bag. So, yes, this is currently my most favourite thing that I own. And like I said, it's from Pull and Bear. Then on the same day, I went to Itchy Ear. I went into Mango as well, because I don't actually have a mango near me, but I love mango very, very much. And I picked up two things, and they also had 30% um, off that day. Um, I can't actually remember how much these things were, um, but I'll try and find them on the English website, see if we've got them available in the UK. But the first thing that I picked up was this jumper. The lighting's gonna go really funny, I know it. And it's just a really thin, loose knitted white slash cream jumper. And I thought it was just perfect for like a lazy day or it, even to dress up maybe a pair of jeans. But it's just so comfortable and it's really, really warm as well. And it's nice and long so that it covers it covers your bum. Because I've got a thing about I don't like short tops. Like every top that I wear, unless it's a crop top and meant to be really short, will always cover my bum. And this does just that, and it's perfect. Um, like I said, I can't remember how much it was, but I will try and find the link. But this is a really, really nice basic. And then I got some trousers as well. Just some like, they're like, I think they're kind of thick cotton, like tailored loose trouser. And then they've got a little like faux leather bit of the pocket there. I actually still have the tag on these. These were twenty nine ninety nine euros, obviously. But yeah, I got these, these are a size small, but they're actually a little bit big, but I didn't realise until I got them home, and obviously I can't return them now because they were bought in Tenerife, so um, I'm going to see if I can find someone to resize them for me. But again, I thought they'd be perfect with that jumper for just like a lazy day, comfortable trouser, they're like a black, grey, speckled kind of material, which you can see. And yeah, they're just a straight leg, really, really comfortable. They're really soft as well. And they have pockets, which I love. And then when we were coming home, we got back on the airport and I looked in duty free and I found a perfume that I've wanted for absolutely ages. I got the sample of it in a glossy box. I can't remember, maybe a couple of months ago. And I fell in love and I bought it in duty free. <laughs> um, so it's this perfume. It's, it's by Ghost and I think it's called Eclipse. 
I think. But firstly, I absolutely love the bottle, like little moon. Is it meant to be a sunrise? I think it's meant to be a sunrise. Um, but the smell of it is just beautiful. I am the worst at describing scents, so I'm not even going to try. But it's probably more of a summer scent than an autumn winter scent, but I'm going to use it as my autumn winter scent. Yeah, I just really, really love it. I mean, um, I'll link I'll link it below so you can go have a read up of the scent, but it almost has like um, a citrus hint to it, which you know I absolutely love citrus scents, so. This is going to be my autumn winter perfume. You'll be like, but that's a summer perfume. Yes, I know, but I don't care. Then when I got home, I was freezing cold, um, and I went onto the very website and I bought this. It is like a jumper dress with almost like it's got like a rope effect to it. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's not like rough. It's really, really soft. But it's really, it's nice and long. It it's, comes between literally dead in the middle of my knees and my bum. So it's a perfect length and it's long sleeved and it's just so, so comfortable. Perfect with maybe a pair of tights and some boots or some leggings. And yeah, it's just perfect for like a, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I just really wanted something like this for what those days where you still want to look stylish but you just want to be able to throw something on and with this you can like you can literally wear it with like tights and maybe some I don't even know like ankle boots or some nice heels or even just like your ugly boots anything but you can just throw it on and you are good to, good to go it was 25.99 it's from the TRF range at Zara which is much more reasonably priced but you still get good qualities um, so I ordered this online and did it as like a click and collect sort of order so you don't have to pay postage and because I work in Cambridge it was just it just made more sense because I was going in anyway and postage is quite expensive um, but the problem with doing that is that you actually have to physically go into the shop and I can't go into Zara without actually buying something so I came out with things as well I came out with this ooh, this really basic white ooh, really basic white v-neck t-shirt with three quarter length like baggy sleeves and it's nice and long as well the, this was only 9.99 as you can tell, I'm ooh, funny light. As you can tell, I'm really going for like easy, basic things that I can style up or keep really simple. But I think you need some of those like basic essentials in your wardrobe, and then you can work with them rather than buying lots of like statement pieces that you can't really do anything with. And you've got like, it's like one outfit and that's it. So I wanted lots of little things that I can wear with everything else, if that makes sense. I'm rambling. Um, I also bought this in the grey and black stripe effect but I've already worn that and it is in the wash. Now I've just said I really like basic things that you can wear with everything. I bought these. <laughs> Again really nice tailored trousers. They've got pockets. Love pockets. Um, an elasticated, slightly elasticated waist actually and again they're straight leg but these fit perfectly and they'll, they are going to be so nice but because I've got like so many basic things now like my white t-shirt, that white jumper would look so nice with these I've still got a couple of outfits that I can wear these with so definitely worth it but yeah, I'll try and get a close up of the pattern for you but these were again $25.99 same price as the dress, but I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of these. Like, um, I'm going to wear these with like ankle boots, um, my the boots I got from Berry, which you will have seen in a haul video before. But yeah, woolly jumpers, t-shirts, heels, anything. You can literally dress them up, dress them down, however you would like. I've always wanted a pair of trousers like this, but I've never found any that I would like, like enough to get them. They're quite daring for me. I'm definitely a um, blue jeans, black leggings kind of girl. Now, there can't be a haul video on Political Beauty without there being something from Very featured in it. Um, and there is. I actually ordered a lot more than just this. However, I was, I was actually quite disappointed. A lot of the stuff didn't really fit. But I've wanted this for absolutely ages. Again, it's from 
same cotton's range. I'm literally obsessed with everything that is on there. And it's orange, and it's just everything that I love, and it's this. <laughs> some of you are going to really hate this, I think. But it's a long sleeve kind of, it's like a shift dress. I am literally in love with this dress. As you can see at the front, it's got kind of like a cut out bit which just goes literally like across here but it's re it's actually really really flattering and then the long sleeves slim down because I always find that these sort of dresses just make me look a bit square maybe because I'm quite small but I find if they've got like tight three quarter length sleeves or long sleeves it just gives me a bit more shape don't ask me how, I don't really know how but it does I'm sure one of you will explain it to me <laughs> But like I said, I've wanted this for ages and I just decided that I was just going to get it. So I have floral, bright orange, I will literally think I will probably glow in the dark with this dress. My arm is really aching so I'm just going to rest on my head. Um, yeah, I think it looks very, very, it's quite retro. But I really wanted, like at the moment I'm really into buying things that I can wear in autumn and winter and also transition into the summer so I can wear this with tights and some ankle boots but I can also, it's at the right length for me to be able to wear it with like sandals and not tights as it comes into spring because it, to be fair we only get about two or three weeks of really hot weather here so I can probably wear this all year round. If you follow me on Twitter you'll already know that I went to TK Maxx on Friday and I wanted to share with you some of the little things that I bought. Um, I'll start with... I needed a new little book to write um, like video ideas, blog ideas, that sort of thing. I have I did have one but it's now full but I found this at Sherlock's my boyfriend found this <laughs> um, and it was three pounds three pounds yeah and it's real leather it's lovely but I just love how like like I don't know how to explain it how worn it is I really love like old worn leather and it's just lined inside it's just literally a plain book but I just really really like the plain leather and they had them in a couple of other colours but I'm um, this like dark chocolate brown leather is definitely my favourite and I just keep smelling it is that really weird? I really like the smell of leather like I'll walk into a handbag shop and just be like <sighs> or a shoe shop then um, I found this little beauty it's um, from e.l.f. And it's a 48 piece little black beauty book. It's the cool edition. And you get 48 shades, obviously, pretty much explained that, um, in this cute little book. And this was £3.99 instead of £5. Um, and I've actually got it out here. So it's a really, really cute little book. And then you get all of the shades in here. Ta da! And I've actually got a couple of them on today. I've got this shade, on. none of them have names, but I've got this shade and I also have the pale pink at the top here. Now this like goldy shade is literally, I'm in love, it's my favourite shade. So if anyone can tell me where I can get more eyeshadows in this colour, I will love you forever because I really want some more. <laughs> because these are obviously not the biggest of like palettes. Palettes, is that the right, is that the right word? So. I think I'm going to use it quite quickly because I really really like it and with with e.l.f. I do find you need to use quite a lot to get enough pigmentation in the colour for it to show up properly so you use quite a lot of once, well I do anyway. So if anyone can tell me, like I said, where I can get a shade very very similar to this, please tell me in the comments because I really really want one. And I'm also really wanting to try to get a bit more adventurous with my eye makeup. I've been, I'm very simple with my makeup as you probably already tell I'm more of like a bold lip kind of girl than going for some bold eyeshadow but I really want to try and kind of get out of my shell and experiment a bit more um, and become a bit more adventurous really with my eye makeup so maybe you will start seeing a bit more eye makeup going on in my videos we'll see next is actually on my phone and it is a phone case it's Ted Baker phone case 
um, I will do a close up again, but this should have been $29.95 and it cost me $6.99. Like, that's crazy. And my little orange band had just broken. RIP orange bumper case. And I'd seen this on a website and I was like, I'm not paying £30 for a phone case. Like, that's just insane for something that's going to sit on your phone. Obviously, you, if you can afford that, then fine, but I really couldn't and can't. So when I saw this in TK Maxx, I did a little squeal and had to get it. $6.99 instead of 30 quid. come on. I can't really say no to it. It just reminds me of Christmas. It's got like red and yellow and orange and... We call that navy or we should call that black? We'll call it navy. Yeah, like it just makes me think of Christmas. That's probably why I like it so much because I love Christmas. Next again, a really big bargain. Um, I got another neon candle, which as you know, these little sample ones are normally £15. Uh, I got this for £7.99. It's in a sensuous scent and it's Ylang Ylang Frankincense and Pashuli? I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to say a lot of things, but yes. And it says, the treatment, this blend is perfect for easing anxiety, creating a romantic and sensual backdrop, or hiding yourself away from the world, alone or together. Which I thought was really apt, because recently I've been suffering quite badly from anxiety, from stress, um, and I just love to light candles, it soothes me, so I thought this would be a perfect candle for me to try it out. Um, I'm saving because um, I got a neon candle from the girls at work for my birthday. They bought me happiness um, and then obviously now I've got this one but we're moving house soon so I'm saving these for my new room. And then last but not least is another jumper. I really like big jumpers guys. Um, again it will go so well with these trousers that I bought from um, Zara. But it's just this one. This one's more of a thick knit Aran style jumper. Again, long sleeves. The sleeves are fit quite tight, but they're nice and long, which I really like. Um, and then the top itself is kind of what's the word? It's short. It's shorter at the front and longer at the back, which obviously I really like because I like my jumpers to cover my back. Um, this is from the make Dex. Has anyone heard of Dex? I certainly haven't. This was £19.99, so pretty much £20, which I didn't think was too bad for like a really thick knit jumper. So yes, I picked that up as well, and I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this jumper. So I am going to finish this video and then realise that I bought something else, but I'm going to end it here anyway now. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that my social media links are all down below. You've got Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, and I've just hit... 350 Instagram followers which is insane and also last week I reached 100 subscribers so thank you so much such a small amount for some people but for me it's crazy and it means so much so thank you thank you thank you remember I do a video every Monday and Thursday so I will see you on Thursday and then goodbye <laughs>